Only six shot. Hey folks, BC here, and today we're talking about black powder pistols. One of the reasons why I like uh, black powder revolvers is that they're cheap to shoot. Sorry, this hat is getting a little hot. Okay, well, they're cheap to shoot, uh, cheap to buy actually, they're not that expensive. Uh, you can order them, they're not regulated either. You can actually buy these and have them shipped straight to your door. Um, I bought, I think I bought both of these from Cabela's. You can find them from everywhere under the sun. Cabela's happen to have the best deal. Here's a um, brass frame uh, Buffalo that's a Remington copy. And um, here is the steel, it's a steel framed uh, Colt copy. Uh, both of them are, both of these were under $200. And I have seen, you wait for them for go on sale. They go on sale all the time. Um, I have seen the brass frame, which is good enough for most everyday shooting. The brass frame Colt copy, I've seen them down to about 120, 130. Uh, play, pay for shipping and you're good to go So let's go over Everything you're gonna need to shoot these bad boys Okay, here is everything I use to load and shoot my black powder revolvers uh, You can go with less and you can definitely go more. So this is what I use though Okay, first of all, you're gonna need a black powder revolver or two Let's see also powder uh, gunpowder. You can find this powder anywhere at any time of the year um, it's not expensive and you'll it'll last quite a while. You don't use much. Um, I bought a flask just to speed loading and actually has a predetermined powder measure built in, which is nice. I'll show you how I use that later. Also, I have a powder measure so I can divvy up how much powder I want to put in there. I just leave that full out right now. I have a nipple wrench. Uh, this actually goes in over the nipples on the uh, where you put the primers and um, we'll take them off for easy cleaning. Also, if you have a clogged nipple, you can use the wire attachment inside there and that will take care of any kind of obstruction that's keeping the a cap from going off and from igniting your powder. Let's see, I have, this is just a plastic, this has, used to have pellets in it. Uh, now I use it to um, carry my Crisco. This is just basic, normal Crisco. Um, I just shove a handful in that at some point and I use that to transport to and from the range I don't use that much, but I use this to lube my bullets once I got everything loaded I'll grab some Crisco and throw in there to lube the bullets and keep from chain fires happen. I'll um, show you how to use that later Also, we have primers um, All the instructions say these take number 11 percussion caps but they're really loose and they always fall off. So I've always used number 10 percussion caps. Um, on the internet they say you should pinch them to hold them on better, but might as well just, they're the same price, so might as well just buy the ones that fit. So CCI makes them, Remington makes them. They're available right now at any uh, place that would normally sell them. Gander Mountain, Cabela's, um, let's see, what's the uh, Bass Pro? All of them have these available right now. Um, there's no shortage in them. And also you have, let me make some room here, your actual bullets. I cast these myself. You can buy them. You can, uh, these are, some of these are really old. Um, you can buy them. They need to be cast. If you're going to cast them yourself, they need to be some really soft lead. You don't want to use wood, wheel weights for these because uh, that's just too hard and will be extremely hard to load because you're shaving off a piece of that when you actually load them. So you can see the sprue there. Um, so I actually bought some... I think it was roofing lead off the internet, uh, just waste roofing lead that they had actually formed in and it's perfect for black powder stuff. So let me show you how to load it up. 